feel. Shinra Tensei! Fun empowering her. <laughs> yeah, it's a little more important than like the Omni, as you're saying, right? Like, uh, needs and power. Omni's there mostly for the fights, but uh, to, to get to the point where you need to be in this game, it's uh, gonna rely on Puppy and all that empowering, so he'll be a, a good friend to the Phantom Assassin. As Puppy currently is going for that really deep ward, and it's gonna, I believe, lock off that camp, so gonna slow down some of that early game stacking seconds to, uh, to begin with there. Nice. Really good. Crazy to be able to get that deep to there, but uh, they set up for it. And down bottom, another ward placed down by mm -hmm. Dyer to set up for. That's that's the Murano ward, dude. Yeah, that's that's the easy courier snipes. <laughs> uh, I think in this case, it's partially courier snipes and also partially just to get the lane matches that they want. Uh, and FNG. The question is, where is he gonna go? Because if they, if they got this guess right that he's gonna end up being top, which it kind of looks like they did, then that ward's really good. It's just another great way to. Uh, to limit her creeps, right? Mm. And then hopefully you're gonna, I would assume, body block the other hard camp. And then he's only gonna have like one camp to work with. The, the, that's the way that you want to do it, sure. They did drop that sentry down to make sure that this one's not blocked. Yeah, he went for the preemptive uh, check. He's always threatening to go for it on the range creeps like that. And uh, in a way, the shot's been up there early on and not wanting to run over and grab a creep. It's early going. Throw out the root there. Pretty good damage on it. So maybe can be forced to jump away afterwards. Um, other lanes that we can talk Wait, about a little bit. Drop mid lane. Yep. Void Spirit facing off against uh, Necropost. As FN should be able to get out of there pretty safely, I think. Maybe not, actually. Mean Juke and they pretty much oh. south, even. Yeah, that hurts. Radiance Middle Tower. Yeah, the, uh, the spirits don't really like Necro, especially Ember. Ember hates Necro. Right, that's like the one girl you oh, yeah. despises as uh, that's uh, that's a not in how they expected. Wow, he thought that he could just pressure him. Yeah, no, that's true. Radiant's bottom tower. Uh, it's uh, it usually depends on like the people you're gonna buy and you're gonna buy it. Goes for the scythe. Oh, trying to scythe into the arrow. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Even still, pushing him back that far without a bottle was really nice. Now they can get a ton of pressure onto this tower. Yeah, it's Siege Wave, so it's like value anyway. Although Yapsor is an arcane, but again, yeah, it's only level 3, so not a major concern here. Okay, pushing him back. Puppy moves in as well. They kill off a lot of the creep wave, but they have another one coming in afterwards. And they're going to keep the tower there. Punching away, Root now wanted to lift lots of damage. On trying to pressure Zai up top at the same time as well. But Zai tries to turn on FNG and almost, because if it wasn't for that bash from Nico to stop all those right clicks, I think FNG goes down. Play. Now Yapsor's here as well. It's only a level one time walk, so he's only going to get one jump here. Yeah, in a way, see if he can get the punch down onto Zai. Jumps away afterwards. And TP out! It's enough! Yapsor gets the kill! That arcane room. It feels like he's a, a lost little guy wandering around here. Yeah, really has kind of been left to not do anything. FNG's gonna get jumped on here. They're gonna be able to pull him back in, get the kill, and now we're hoping to find any kind of a setup here, but he has another astral step up to the high ground. Randy, to his, to his credit, that constant pressure in the mid lane, even though he's not getting kills, they're dodging and stuff, and they did take the mid tower with that, so. You know, he, he is a, a threat. Arrow can be off the mark there. Yeah, I, I think the mid tower going down is the biggest win out of the last couple of minutes for Alliance. And my, my main question now is like, what, what's Nico Baby's uh, sort of catch up mechanism going to be in this game? Like, how, how does he sort of find a place for himself? Because right now he's the lowest out of all the cores. I try and get the Magnus to defect. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Him, you know, <laughs> that's probably his best bet. Other than that, uh, that's a, a lot of uh, lanes would be great. If he can like try and stay on lane and get more gold, that'd be amazing. RP used. They, uh, they popped in the epicenter there too, trying to set it up for a turnaround. He does have a lot of opportunities to make stuff happen in the early goings here as the smoke up. Oh, FNG run! run. Into FNG. They go bam immediately. Likely Chrono though, gonna land. Hits onto Ready? all of them. S4 is caught for the moment, looking for a throw afterwards to follow it. They get the break on 
that terrorize. It doesn't come out. So they take down. It looks like two here, most likely. Although, oh, puppy trying to make a move. Look at the blocks. The oh, alpha blocks making the hit. And that's two down. Now possibly a third as well. EA tries to jump into this one to make something work here. Or doesn't have another burrow strike afterwards. They're trying to get off and run, but just dodges away from the remnant. And he's out of there as well. He's clarity. He wants to chase. Bro. Oh. A little bit off the mark. Anisha will manage to get the TP out. You might never yeah, I don't, I don't think... I'm curious how this goes. Mid lane. Pro strike arrow. Okay, well, Nico Baby's having his own team fight. Of course, that's it. And then afterwards, side down. Oh, Nico Baby's not winning. He's out. <laughs> Nico Baby's losing. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, dude. That, this is not Who stacked this? Oh, oh, wait. You can actually. It, uh, yeah, it tells you now. You can actually, like, rat out Radiant's your team. Middle tower. Really? Middle tower. Giant, yeah, because you get the little Marana icons, right? Because she gets the bonus gold. So it's got the neutral creep stack thing on the creeps. Cool. But, uh, yeah, so he just starts kiting them. That's what you have to do. He went for the uh, the mega fast green hits before, so now this is just a delayed farm. But it's okay. There's no vision. They're not contesting. Top tower. You should top survive top tower. this. It really feels like if Marana or not Marana can just send an arrow over, that'd be pretty good. Creep over, rather, as the arrow hits on Anisha, and he will die again just to respawn. Couple quick ones. Nico Baby. All time. It's all good. They smoke up around him. Alright, it's gonna be Oh, arrow. Well played. Hitting them. Yeah, getting towards that uh, mechanism next as well. Fear not heresy. Hunts and Anisha in the river. The rest of the team grouping somewhat together. They're underneath the board. The central ward spotted them making that move. This actually is a little bit scary. They're not going to realize that FNG is going to get caught right at the outset here. Arrow oh, going to go towards this. Oh, and it is going to be a GA used after the chrono. And now Nico Baby's just got to run. Can't do anything. RP, follow up back on to two. Can they bring anything? Well, Monty will join. Follow up after the RP. Monty went after Nico. And now. Oh, wait. They still kill off S4, though. And that might have been the right decision in the end. Nico Baby trying to turn here. Inside. They want to fight the couple man. They have. The Reaper sight to kill off side. No more save afterwards. They get the kill just at the end as the Terrorize comes out. Nico Baby is going to try and dodge. The Curse Crown makes it happen as they chase down yet another. They'll catch on to Yapsor. Lots of damage done, but not enough. Alliance winning the fight. Oh no, what a disaster. You get this RP on two, and, but Matu's chasing. That was unfortunate. I think that was a little bit of a desync there by them. If he's in there with like potential crits and empowers, that makes such a big difference to that engagement. And then right after they're able to clean up the uh, the Omni Knight, so then that just makes the fight like bro uh, breaking broken breaks the fight wide open for Alliance. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's nice. I'm, I'm getting there. Uh, <laughs> it's so mind bending. I, I, I tell you, I just can't handle it. This, this clown thing next to me, I think it's contagious. <laughs> Arrow will miss on Nisha's lift, wrap it behind. Crazy. Yeah, what are you guys doing? Ants gets out of his mind. Lift's crazy too. I gotta jump on him. Okay, he will try and live. No chrono available, obviously. As he comes out with that sword, they kill another one. Matumba Man does not take that long a duration of stun, and the dust still on Sand King. They secure the finish. Alliance <laughs> will lose the fight now. <laughs> you ever bait your team in with too good of wards? That's pretty much what just happened there, I think. Man, look at this vision behind the tower, though, guys. We have to fight them. It, it must be good. Dude, a little crazy. Uh, okay, those fights actually Dyer's suck all the energy out of the team. I hate it when that happens, right? Like, you won this fight that was, like, kind of hard in the jungle, and then a couple guys decide to, like, stick around too long in one spot, and then they decide, like, okay, no, this actually looks good, but then you, you just feel like you lost all your momentum. Right. Yeah, they all just directly on top of that sentry. That's four Burrow. They have any save? Oh, no mechanism yet. FNG, he got his ward. But uh, he'll lose his life for the trouble. And now, with Deso done, this could be straightened a bit. In fact, yes, they're going to go for it. 
Just like Alliance just like lost focus in this past like minute and a half, and it's costing them dearly. This is an extremely pivotal part of the game right now. And to to lose those fights just so freely. Extremely costly. I mean they know this is happening, but with the Chrono, how can you even get in here as Nico Baby, right? They have the stairs covered. Puppy's playing the Vanguard up front of the river. He's like, I don't care, I'll hire me anything. No, it's, I think it's a good decision by Alliance not to go in there uh, without the rest of their heroes. But again, it speaks to the problem of just stepping a bit too far forward and maybe a bit of a lackadaisical couple of moments there. I Alliance hate when I get all lackadaisical. Yeah, man. It ruins my day. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Well, we got Aegis. Got Basher on the Tumble Man. Oh, FG, right another D Ward. Please, sir. He got it. <laughs> I mean, he gets his man every time. That's an SBI. Oh, return. Oh, the big comes out afterwards. Not quite enough to kill him, but Tumble Man's a punch. Heavenly grace. But it's not going to happen, and the urn won't even be enough to finish him off at the end. Oh, oh, oh. Omni's good hero. The price is mine. Freaking play. Tide is mine. Yeah, and this is Blake before. Like, kind of useless. And uh, then the Aether is the last really key thing for the Omni, right? Yep. Just, uh, it's tough between the Aether and the Blink. If they win a fight, he might just go straight Blink. Because uh, they basically, you know, once his extension is the other thing they go to the solo with the Chrono. Wow. Not expecting that. Radiant's bottom no, is under it. What did he get? He got 400 gold over here. Uh, uh, wards in the area to reveal the dead creep. Creep's just uh, you know, spontaneously combusting over there. But uh, now Alliance, they're gonna run into him. Oh, walking in. That would be Wait a minute. Wait a minute now. Governor, though, afterwards, that was Blimp. Blimp with the usual, that was not what was needed. Reaper sight afterwards. Nico Baby moving into position. There's Vision down in the area, though. RP and Puppy trying to run away. Face down. There's going to be the Chrono catch on the both of them. It's a good combo, but it's so much damage. It's so much And the TA afterwards, the top of man who's barely living. All the oh, the please. It came out afterwards. Trying to, heal, trying to kill Blur. It's not enough. They take him down, and now Liv trying to play a little bit of cleanup with Nico Baby. Yapnor are going to get punched down. A triple kill for Nico Baby. And hand scan, eyes on Nisha, arrow, gonna connect. He's been having a great game on Murano. Oh, like last game all over again, man. Things look so bad. It's like getting worse and worse for Alliance. They just have to wait for their one moment, and again, they find it. Perhaps a bonus here. So they take and the wall down. So I, think, I think what happened was that the... I couldn't tell if the Heavenly Grace was already on or if he saw the Heavenly Grace would come out either way, but Liv was just convinced that arrow wasn't gonna connect. It's totally fair. Between like the SAS resistance as well as the uh, the Heavenly Grace there, so that's why he went for that. Okay. But I mean and obviously ended up being uh, completely fine. So well done Alliance. I don't see any sentries. Well, they have Reaper Sight, but no chrono. Oh man. Get vision right at the start. Yeah, they were dead. Good thing they turned Puppy. for that. Puppy. They back away. And so Puppy has RP again. Still no blink though. I feel like I heard JJ say that more people have been going back for the uh, the true site now on Void, but he's yeah. opted for the uh, the damage this time, which uh, of course could hurt them in a couple of these situations. Oh, the Void Spirit, sorry, not the Fate right. Void. <laughs> Too many. Oh. Look at this pick rate. Destruction. Right. And that, that is a, uh, a nice pickup for her, for sure. Wait, up north, puppy. You get caught. Yes. Arrow afterwards. Easy pick off there. Baby comes to secure it. That's really interesting that Matsu's taking the Titan Sliver instead. Who's, who's going to put the orb on? The Void Spirit, maybe? Uh, yeah, probably. Well, he's not Or just nobody. Are we just... I mean, it's... Like, I kind of appreciate the idea of stacking the stats resistance. Because right. that seems really broken. But... I don't know, you're also just going for max damage, right? 
it's yeah, it's an interesting decision. Like, are you gonna try and blow up these heroes just for what? Oh, no, Woke up. Radiant behind the CA and Moonlight Shadow Vision. See her. Go, baby. All right, first hit bash on the faces void. They don't have vision down. Oh, they, they don't have a sentry that goes right to here. Yeah, that's scary. Oh. You know, the edge of it needs <laughs> to heal something. Jump in, they find him. Oh, they close those. There is a PA afterwards, though. Is it going to be enough? I'm trying to kill off this PA, but double damage. The Orpion and everybody just got blow up in time. He just jumped through them all. See the damage coming out. Can they do anything else afterwards? I hope they will become a man. It's real old art. As he punches down Nico, baby, won't be able to finish him off, but Lim eventually will fall. Damn, dude, that satanic turnaround is big. Yeah, this, like, without the Omni inside, I'm surprised they actually got him that low, even with the Omni being able to cast everything from the outside. But, uh, yeah, they found their freedom. And you know what was really smart, actually, was how Matu jumped to the back and went on F and G, because if he had stayed and kept trying to commit onto that clump that they'd RP, there is a chance that F and G gets, like, just enough cleanup to finish him. Right, that's just that, like pure damage like gangs were like maybe he gets you right but he just like guaranteed the fight for sure to jump out. Yeah, there wasn't really anything else besides that that he had to worry too much about. That's before BKB! What's up? You know, like, like a fun time. The combo man never wanted to back down from a challenge. Oh, this hero's so scary. It's just like one shot and creeps. Walking up here. He's under attack. Alright, we have a minute and 15 seconds. The Dagon that I want to see. Deal with the Humble Man. Dagon is going to show on the wave bottom. So they are Lip. well aware there's no Chrono right now. Lip has the heart coming out. He's going to show him right now. That essence ring. But they're going to get this tier 3 tower. Hard to stop the pressure. Has fallen. Now the other remnant, they get another Heavenly Grace. One of the combo man, slow and steady. All right, can they kill him with just an arrow? Is the question, I guess, right? Which I don't, I don't think they can, because if they try and hit him, if they try to arrow him when he's Heavenly Grace, it's not gonna last long enough. And if they try to do it when he's not, then it'll just get this bone. Right. They need Chrono to kill him. Well, this is what they're gonna try and do. Bring it down. BKB out. Decent way to start this. You will set the lift up afterwards. Need to survive on the lift. Got a lot of HP. Matumba man, back up the full. Light. And after they force out that BKB, Alliance feel more comfortable staying on their own high ground. Yeah, that, that's the call to this back from Secret. Alright, uh, pretty good defense. You kept your melee racks. Losing tier 3s doesn't really matter that much anymore. I mean, it's not great, but it doesn't really lose you any major objectives. And Matsu can go contemplate... Uh, next purchase here with no uh, Aegis and we'll see if we we still get the glory. Sure. I think he's gonna do it. I think he can do it and not die. Okay. They just got Blink on Omni too so that might be good enough. Oh yeah. Oh look he's doing the, the disassemble play. Okay. Wait where's the rest of it though? Sir? It's on your courier sir. <laughs> he doesn't want to show it maybe? Is that a thing? I think he it's coming I think he bought it got a neutral maybe? Oh whatever. It's coming back now, so it's fine. Okay. He noticed. Yeah, he has the uh, they know it's coming. Yeah, they they've secured themselves a uh they had no roach. Puppy up on the cliff! Puppy! Ooh, they got down. To connect. After afterwards, in a lot of trouble, has the match plan. This is the RP completely. And so Zanking is gonna lift that one jump in. Hold the chrono. Oh, oh, yes. Trying to get Matumbo Man, doesn't get him though. And now Matumbo Man just laying waste in the back oh. line. We're gonna beat him down, but he's up, baby. He tries to live, it's not gonna happen. Matumbo Man takes his bounty. Claiming the kill, now Nisha runs forward, looking for a little bit more from Lemmis. The Curse Crown does go not the flicker flicker. away. Not the way he wanted it oh, to go. Oh, he got buyback. Oh, the bounty room. S4 got a bounty room for him. Oh, he didn't have Chrono, though, unfortunately. Yeah, oh, and S4 jumps on him and tell him, man, that was not the way they wanted it to go. Good bounty, bad jump, though, and now they're going to lose him. He is forced to the buyback on the same game. Stabilize. How did he 
die there in the end. Dude, mass buybacks all around. It was a dieback from the Sand King. So I guess that he fought back and then TP'd out to get the bounty rune so Nico Baby can have it. He did 15,600 damage. That was the PA. That was all PA that fight. And not enough. Oh, alrighty. Um, I mean, the site cut him down in half, but it looks like that, that was the, the majority of the damage. And everyone was just laying all that they had, right? I saw MT, I'm pretty sure it got the quiver hit too. Right. Which is a very significant amount of damage. Such a garbage ability. Oh, that's what everybody's getting right now, it feels like. Yeah, that's a really good idea. Aeon with a little uh, magic lamp, too. Oh, All right, uh, here we go. Rape your number two. <laughs> All right, we're back. And, uh, Hanskin's gonna have uh, a blade soon as well. After some technical difficulties, Matu has returned to the match and finds Lynn. Walks right into him. Down to half HP right at the start. Happy center coming out. Good Comes cancel. In. Good cancel. Not worth it. That was scouted. It yeah, that, that's fine. No, no one cares at the center. It's his worst spell. <laughs> it's fine. They D ward on the high ground. Going to chill. Just chill. Right, Try and help out his allies. And just generally a decent item for him in the current situation, but definitely not a, a like real feel good situation. Now limp uh, Agonist. That, that feels a little bit better. Okay. That thing's pretty crazy. <laughs> Back in, go Shroud afterwards. Burrow strike arrow. Good connection. Open silence. We're going to jump on the top of it. But he was getting into the auto. Go. He's on the other side. Here, right? He jumps out. He's in enough. Oh, my God. He is there. He beats him down to death. Takes down the top of the man. Now looking for more. They're going to kill off the mag. Immediate buyback. Nico Baby has both rapiers. This is dangerous. He does a lot of damage, Trent. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay, um, but Tumble Man back to farm another one. I, <laughs> he's got it queued up. He's, he knows yeah, he doesn't really have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor guy. Oh, what a good game to take the Chrono AoE. Yeah. It's so important. I mean, you saw the struggle of Zai to just get in there and help. By the time he's getting all these Guardian Angels, there's like 100 HP left on the PA. Oh, yeah. one, right? Yeah, and it, it, there's like, just at that point, nothing you can do. Because even like the bashes coming out, that's where he, I think he got enough damage to finish off the uh, the PA there. Hey, one thing, he's never going to find seconds, right? Yeah, that's something. Basically 50% uptime. They do have the gem still on Yapsor. Hey, what's that item that Matu got? Yo, Matu, did he assemble that on the courier? That's a no-no. <laughs> Come on, Matu. <laughs> he's done with it. He's like, I don't care anymore. Yeah, he can't get all fancy. Just take it right now away from me. What do I care? Another bounty rune's picked up here. 55 minutes. But Tumbo Man scouts a couple out. Jumps right at the start. Tries to kill one. He can't be out. Gets one of them. And look at the jump. No! For the corner of your land. PA afterwards. And they need to illusion. They went on the wrong one. Oh, and Tumbo Man just gets some all. That's Aegis down. What else they got left in the tank? He's gonna get stunned. Tries to back away. Yet again, another GA use. He's going to power. All the rapiers on the deck in his inventory. Give me my property. I want it. But Tumble Man takes him down, kills off Limp, and has three rapiers right now in his inventory. I need more hands. He's moving like molasses, but he is heading for some buildings. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Puppy, that was sick. Puppy's just lurking on the side. He already RP. He's just like, I need Matsu to come down, gets the empower, and then just slices. Poor boy, right in half. Nico Baby, just no chance. There's a DD, but I don't think the Matumba Man needs it. Look at that damage from Nisha in the team fight, too, by the way. 5,400. He did a lot of work there. I know that we're talking a lot about this PA, but Nisha really helped him to finish this one. Did they break it open? Secret now. 34,000 gold leads. Is that a buyback again from Bounty Oh, no. Okay, never mind. By the way, he's got it from taking into it, so... Uh, well, now with the buybacks and like seeing everybody there, what do you even do? Did they ever see the refresher? I don't actually know. I can't remember if he chronoed in time where it would have mattered. Right. I I mean, I think it had it in his inventory for long enough that he probably, they know it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's true. It was in his backpack. Yeah. Okay. They probably. All right. Nisha. Punching away at the buildings. Don't want to reveal the PA here. He's going to sit pretty with the DD, but backs out afterwards. 
still a huge lead, but not really comfortable walking up front center. They have a refresher on Omni Knight with GA available in 22 seconds. Dagger. This, this is such a hard hold for Alliance now. Dagger then, dagger again. No crits. Hey, he's priming. Flicker. Dyer's top barracks are under attack. Unbelievable. All right, give him another dagger. Let's see. Doink. The back. I mean, he's got crazy armor. RP is going to be used. Wait, they didn't get the skewer out afterwards. They jumped in from a tunnel. Oh, man, blows him up. Look at the damage. Oh, with just the cleave. That's all it took. Dead for two minutes. That's why I got cleaved to mid burrow. Do you see that? That was ridiculous. Yeah. The Temple Man is large and in charge, and right now they need an answer. They do have Refresher Chrono in four seconds. This is their only hope. If they can burst down the Temple Man in the duration, possibly KB wants to beat him down, but there's going to be the GA coming out. Second round of Refresher going to come, but guess what? They got a second round of GA afterwards. Is it going to be enough to keep alive the Temple Man? Desperately, the fear is there. Turns around, gets the kill. GG. We're going to game number three. Ah, would you have it any other way, though? No. <laughs> Dyer's are under attack. This game's demanded. Boring fashion with just one break here.